Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about one of my favorite parts of off-road adventures and that's really the overnight, the camping, and definitely the cooking after a long hard day out on the trail. So let's talk about sort of our approach. Uh, we kind of break it down into three separate groups. We have certainly over a fire, you know, you got a little grill, you got a wood fire going, some coals, and very versatile. You can go everything from roasting chicken and hot dogs to uh, boiling water, browning things. Uh, you do run into situations though where it's wet out, kind of hard to get a fire going, or it's actually raining and you're, you can't find anything dry, dry to save your life. Um, but I do love cooking over an open fire and at least if nothing else um, having an open fire while we cook our breakfast it always feels really something special kind of warms you up in the morning and it does do great for just sort of keeping things warm on the side the next cooking set is really more around the backpacking stoves these typically are your single burners they're very lightweight um, they are outstanding at one pot cooking. Uh, by that I mean they're really designed to boil water or to cook a soup up or a stew. Uh, they don't do real well when it comes to simmering or to putting a frying pan on there and trying to cook an egg or something like that. They're just really always on or always off. Um, but Lightweight, super easy, uh, fold away, take up no space at all in your rig, and they're easy and quick to pull out and uh, get your meal going. Then we have really more of the bigger set cooking, and these are great when you're working with a group or you really want to go out and do some more gourmet cooking. So something like this as two burners, it's got the ability to simmer, it's got the ability to ramp up quickly on the heat, come back down. So with a griddle on there, plenty of space, you can actually bake in an eggs, you can fry up uh, just about anything you want, as well as have water boiling on a different burner. And if you've got a group and you're making large meals, this is definitely the way to go. Um, now, Depending on which you choose, and sometimes it's appropriate to have different ones, there's the, side, there's the side about which fuel. So propane, great fuel, easy. Um, definitely most of the bigger stoves, the more uh, elegant stoves, are going to run off propane. Pretty much available in most places, certainly at least in the U.S., and they often double for lanterns and other, other gear. The uh, liquid fuel, which in this case is white gas, typically runs your backpacking stoves and some of the much older, uh, larger stoves, but really a high heat output, great for cold weather. Propane's gonna give you some trouble in the cold weather where liquid fuel like white gas is gonna do great. Uh, the other thing about some of the backpacking stoves is they can be multi-fuel, so even unleaded gas, kerosene, gives you some real versatility. Now, regardless of which way you want to go, one of the things I do recommend is getting some fire starter ribbon. This is real handy on those super cold mornings when everything has frost or ice on it. You put a little ribbon around the base of where you're, you're going to be lighting up your, your stove and that's going to get your stove heated up so that it's working better and can really get the fuel heated up and through the jets. And even on your bigger stoves or on a open fire, a little ribbon will help get all of your kindling started or even warm up your propane jets. So Now, all sort of depends on which way you want to go. For us, when we're just out by ourselves, usually it's just me and Hula Betty, a little bobble doll on the side. Um, I enjoy going with the backpacking pot, get the hot water going, have a simple meal. I still will probably get the fire going 
and possibly get tortillas warmed up. But really, I like to just keep it simple when it's just me. If it's a larger group, two or three, four people, definitely want to be able to pull out the larger stove, have a lot more options, kind of show off some of the uh, cooking ability that I enjoy doing out on the, uh, out on the adventures. So, entirely up to you guys, but just sort of wanted to talk about some of the pros and cons of each of these and where they fit into our off-road wheeling. All right, hope you guys have fun. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.